ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to talk to you about changing the look of your slide or your presentation within PowerPoint. The way you do that is actually quite easy, and there's certain parts of PowerPoint that I really advise you to go in and take some time to explore and play with. And this is one of those areas because you have a lot of different options here. I'm simply going to go up on the toolbar and click on Design. What you're going to see is another toolbar pops out to the right that shows me some options and we have three primary options we have what are called design templates color schemes schemes and animation schemes so what I'm going to look at right now is the design templates what they have done is they have created templates within PowerPoint that allows me to change the look of PowerPoint very very quickly and to illustrate this, I want to tell you a quick story. Many years ago, I had a client who was a doctor, and the doctor knew nothing about PowerPoint, and she hired me to come to her office and work with her on a presentation she had to do. It was a very important presentation, and she was very stressed about how the presentation looked. The problem was, I ended up doing most of the work because she didn't have time to learn it. She wanted to learn it, but it just wasn't working for her because she was stressed on the content. And then she was also stressed out because she had to learn how to work with PowerPoint. To make a long story short, after we got it done, I said, Lee, listen, I'd like to come with you to the presentation. Because when you do a presentation or get into a setting that is different from what you're viewing either on the computer or how you anticipate it's going to look and feel being projected, in a setting in a room of some type what you will find is that can make it difficult because you want to have different looks and feels of your presentation based on the settings of the room maybe it's a dark room maybe it's a light room maybe it's a big room maybe it's a small room there's all kinds of different settings well what I could have done for her is very easily addressed a problem she had when she got into the room the setting and the colors she had chosen did not work and what I could have done, and I tried to show this to her, but she didn't want to get into it because she got too confused by it, was she could have just simply applied a different design template. Let me show you how this works. On the right-hand side, I have all kinds of different design templates. For example, see this one right here that's green? If I click on this one, it will change all the slides in my presentation to that color. If I don't like that, I can go try another one or another one, or another one. So in other words, there are all these templates in here that you can choose from to change the look and feel of your slide. So it is very, very easy to change the look and feel. The color she had chosen, the doctor, in that presentation was too light. She had changed, created a lot of what I call lighter greens and, you know, uh, more pastel colors, and they weren't showing up because the room was very bright. What I knew that she didn't know is all she had to do was open up her presentation, change the design, and it would have probably shown up fine. But because of the way she chose to do things, it didn't work out. So the point I'm trying to make here is if you're aware of the looks and feel of working with design templates, you can in seconds change the way your slide looks and make it very easy to present it. You can, for example, take a presentation, apply one look to it, and save that as, for example, the presentation with the blue background and white text. Or you could save it as the presentation with the green background and the sometimes green text or light white text. So if you got into a presentation or a, a hall, you could pull up each presentation without having to worry about applying the look because these could be the same content with different feels and looks that you've saved. Maybe A, B, and C. You open it up, you look at A on the projector, B on the projector, or C on the projector, and you decide which one is going to work best for you. So you have a lot of flexibility when working with PowerPoint. If, for example, you choose to only apply this to, for example, a selected slide, when you click on the drop down next to the template, you can do it just for maybe this particular slide and I didn't choose a slide so let me go do that again 
and let, I've got to actually do a different one. I'm going to click on the drop down. And what I did is I applied it to just this one slide. So imagine all the variations you can choose when working with PowerPoint. And this is just a handful of slides that are or templates that are available. There are actually more that you can download at Microsoft's website. So when working with PowerPoint, don't be overly concerned about the setting of the presentation because if the colors you chose do not work, you can most likely go right in, change the template, and have it show up better than what you had. You might have to play around with it a little bit, but it's very easy to adjust. If the doctor had taken the time to learn that, she would have easily been able to adjust her presentation. As it was, the presentation was sort of a bust. And the ironic part was she got mad at me because I didn't teach her this, and when I tried, she was so overwhelmed with everything, she couldn't take it in. And I distinctly remember her saying, I can't go there because i got to focus on the content. So anyhow, I just wanted to point this out to you because it's a great way to change the look and feel of your presentation once you have the content done. But focus on the content, and you can do all this stuff after you're done with the content. My name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you very much. We'll address some of the other things in other tutorials. Have a great day.